Welcome back to the Cardiff International Arena. Next up, Efren Reyes against Denis Ocolo. We join it in rack seven. It's 3-3 with Reyes to break. Well, oh, what a whisker away from the golden break. The nine hit the north knuckle as we look at it. Just watch the track of the nine. All right, lucky ricochet off the orange. But he's certainly getting a lot of development from the break. This is the most difficult shot he should face. Everything now in the open. You can see the six and seven. Completely at Reyes's mercy. All he's got to do is keep the white returning to that central midfield area. <laughs> Angle on the brown to make the black almost a gimme. How easy has this been? For Reyes, all manufactured by a solid break. He could have turned the back end of the queue around and knocked these in with the butt end. Nine deposited. <laughs> now the queue went down in disgust after the two ball, just feathered the cue ball enough to take it out of position. Look at the eyes. Ooh, Predator. Ooh, don't you dare come underneath my tree. What's his option with the blue two? Well, he's got a shot to try and leave Dennis in a lot of trouble, just feather the two into the eight and bring the cue ball back to the cushion. Behind the six, just overdid that slightly, Sid. He wanted a full ball contact, two to eight. Mooches, like a street hipster back to the seat, not happy. Well, Dennis really with not much option here other than to fine clip the two, take the cue ball off the cushions back into the same sort of area that he is now and hopefully leave Efren Reyes in the position that Reyes may have wanted to leave him. And that's assuming he can't see enough of the two to bank it straight up the table. He could bank the two straight up the table and check the cue ball off two cushions in behind the eight or the six. Matter of preference here. And that's not his best effort. The way that he played that, the two was always going to be in the middle of the table. If he had that shot available, I don't know why he didn't try and get that cue ball yeah, a little a further chance. into the middle. There's the position now facing Dennis. Not an enviable one. But then how often do you come to the table after Reyes leaves it in one of promise? Has he got a... Has he got an angle of the bottom cushion to hit the blue? Looks like he's getting his jump cue out here. And with that two ball so near that side cushion, this is a very risky shot. He must have a lot of confidence in being able to jump the balls well, he's, uh, because to keep the cue ball on the table here will be some I'm effort. I going to say that he's lost one already. Uh, the cue ball, unless he gets it right, could end up in the gutter. But what a shot it'll be. Containment, you'd be delighted with the way that turned out. 
a smattering of applause, but that was some effort, that one from Dennis Ercolo. Any aggressive option for the Maestro? Again, just a thin clip here, Sid, very similar to a shot he played earlier. Two Filipinos are on a pitch and you see a leaf like this. Something maybe suggests bank or will he go safe? Trails 4-3, just Dennis. And he really wants to try and seize the initiative back from Reyes. He had it earlier. Needs to get that cue ball behind one of these colors. Oh. I don't think Reyes can see this too. And even if he can, position to the four, very difficult. That was a good effort, that one. So because of the position to release and aggression, got to go safe here? He has no choice, Sid. I don't think he can see enough of this too to make it. He's contemplating the jump shot. But again, that affords no position to the four. So it's a kick off the side cushion for Efren. And a controlled <laughs> kick. Well, that was fantastic control of the split angle to where he knew the weight would go in relation to the cushion and the object ball across to the green. Beautiful stuff. Look at the line that he left. This is only one way of hitting this ball. That's like this. And what he'd like to do is hit it on the low side, as I've shown, and try and kick the two up the middle of the table, put some distance between white ball and object ball. There it goes but he's left it. He's left it for Efren Reyes here. You know, it's gotta be so difficult to play Reyes just when you think you've played a shot that's gonna give yourself an opportunity. You come to the table and you're in a worse predicament than you were previous. It's one definition of genius and infinite capacity. We've given other people pain. And with Reyes, you never know when he's gonna dish out the pain. But one thing's pretty clear, this is a roadmap for him to go to 5-3. Efren Reyes has orchestrated many memorable wins. But probably one that he'd like to forget was the one that Steve Davis came back <laughs> from 8-2 down to beat him 9-8. Reyes, certainly the people's choice here to become the first two-time world champion as far as the event moving to Cardiff is concerned. And on that point, there's a lot of the uh, wise boys around think it's America's here. The way Archer and Dalton are playing. Jeremy Jones still alive as well from the United States. In with a chance, Earl Strickland, keep your eyes on him. A lot of people looking for a Strickland Reyes final, but there's an awful lot of players got a little to say about getting to the final, Sid. Absolutely. Shouldn't have any problem oh, this thin through shot on the black and powers the ball 14 feet to leave an elementary nine the nine down five three now confirmed Happy to see the cue ball stay on the table there, Sid. It was kicked from the middle. 
right over very close to in that side pocket. Now he's got a chance at the two, but Reyes is breaking very effectively here in Cardiff. There'll be a lot of players taking note of that. Absolutely. Because as we've mentioned, that's the one bit of his game that is sometimes upstaged by other people. Beautiful shot there. Nicely controlling that cue ball. Onto the four, and he's already had a look at the five, bottom right. So position from the five to the six will hold the key to success in this rack for Efren. Just depends how he wants to play it, Sid. He's got a couple choices here. If he leaves himself lots of angle on that five, I think what he'll do is play the five and try and weave the cue ball around the angles back out for the six. And he may even try and go the other side in sharper around the other side of the eight. Those will be his two choices. If he leaves the angle that he's showing you, that's what he's gonna be trying to do. So here we go. This will be around the back of the other colors and he has to avoid contacting any of them. <coughs> Sweet. That's a macadamia nut. And 6-3, virtually assured now for Reyes. He's done all the hard work. Just the nice bit of angle he wanted to play with. Uh, on this brown. Right now, he is the conductor and he's got the wand in his hand orchestrating all the music. And we could need a bus soon <coughs> for Ocolo. This nine. And it leaves Reyes two-thirds of the way home in this match. Does he have a shot at the one? That's not too bad. It's a fine cut up the top cushion, but he'll be taking this one on. As you see the break again, and the word could well be gone out uh, around the arena that Efren's break is being very productive so everybody else will be practicing to make sure that theirs is equally as effective a thin slice he just stands there and waits for the cue ball to go exactly <laughs> where he wants it to it's like an electric poodle He's got a battery in his pocket and sort of just flick switches and the white's following him around. You can see everything in the open, just showing you where he wants to leave the cue ball on the three. He'll just bump this off the side cushion, get it away from that rail, allow cueing to be a little kinder. <coughs> and it does... Uh, he must get right on the wires of opponents that he points the cue and it goes almost to the millimeter where he wanted to go. Well, what would certainly be very disconcerting for me is just how calm he is. And me, I'm you know, sweaty palm time in my chair and I'm watching this guy out like he's walking his dog. Archer there, 5-3 in a tight one against Rico Dix of Holland. One thing about it, though, this dog will hunt. He'll hunt every plant, every cut, and every attack on the cheese, i.e. the nine. Just taking a little extra time. You get to the final few hurdles, and the last thing you want to do is stumble.
again that snaking out and wiggling of the queue till that last strike which is pure scientific poetry this for seven three Hi there, welcome back. Let's get more action from Efren Reyes against Dennis Okolo. We pick up the action in the 12th rack. Reyes leads 7-4. White ball in the middle that time, but no shot on the one. Trails 7-4 to Dennis. This is just going to be nothing more than containment, Sid. Try and get that cue ball behind one of the colors. And I don't think he's accomplished that. More importantly, has he left enough of the one out for Reyes to go after it? If, if it is, to... what a glaring mistake that is. Looks very close, even from our overhead monitor. Even if... Oh, yeah, I was going to see if he hasn't. He had a lot of room for snooker, but there was room to clip it in. So, the magician is to the table again. Yes, a shot like that, there's just no excuse, and Dennis knows that he'd be the first to tell you. It's just a horrible shot that he just played, and now Reyes in with a chance to get ever closer to the finish line in this match. I think he's made his one mistake of <laughs> he makes a little mistake with every three racks and I think we've had the mistake that we are going to see and possibly the only one because there's not much I think he can do wrong here pace just right and the line just right I believe on the orange Just leaving the long six. And he doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball. No, plain sailing to the hill. And simple stop shot here. It's on the nine. And this would take Reyes to 8-4 and mean that Orcolo needs all remaining five racks. A tall order against anybody, much less Efren Reyes. Dennis Ercolo may well get a chance unless Reyes can figure something out with this one ball because he's not landed on it. That could have been so close to hanging over the side pocket for Efren. Can he uh, billiard to the two or involve the two? He certainly has a chance to try and bank this into the opposite side. As you said, Sid, also the chance of the billiard onto the two. You just never discount anything when Reyes is at the table. Nobody has more imagination. Absolutely. They call him the magician, but the possibility of the bank shot into the opposite side pocket, 
and watch the track of the white because you might be thinking the more and than the billiard one thing <sighs> well, he's missed it both i think he was looking for two parts to that equation <laughs> science but he's not left anything easy for dennis the long one available but it's going to be some shot to park this one into the bottom of a pocket playing now then to save the match Dennis who has been under menace I'd be playing this into the side pocket if I was shooting it he's having a look now he doesn't have a full pocket into the bottom corner and the side should afford him easier position to the two Well, it went thumping into the knuckle, and look where the whites landed. Yes, he overcut this one ball. That's why position was overrun. And I don't know whether or not he can get through to this too, possibly off the cushion. He was down fast, so he's seen a path. Well, he had to wiggle the white a little bit with a lot of left hand spin to curl it around that six. One more good shot and with it position. Don't think the six is in trouble because that offers a combination to the eight. So he's just got to negotiate this one and bring the cue ball up the table with a bit of side. Yeah, but left hand side checks the angle of the whites. So it's looking good to save the match and it's one at the break. So who knows? Anything can happen. We've seen a lot of comebacks already. I can tell you that Rico Dix has just gone six five in front of Johnny Archer. He's taken six in a row. Yeah, the former European champion there. Pop singer. Got two of his band from London up with him. Pick a good guy to get in the tune, Rico. And now the 6 8 combination. No problem here. And should drop right onto the 6 when he gets it. Ooh. No, the 6 had rolled too fast away from the pocket, but it hadn't. And no problem bumping in this brown. Eight five coming up. Eight five confirmed. Needs a good break here. That's twice in a row. He's nailed the balls and he's not landed ideally on the one again. And look at that wry smile from Dennis. You don't see much emotion from any of the Philippine players. They're very good domino players. They're very good bluffers. They get any emotion out of them. Occasional winces or smiles like Reyes gives you. Can he clip this one? Well, he could, but very risky. I think the safety is a better option here. Try and hold the cue ball behind the colors. I'm going to put a left-hand side. <laughs> then again, you could always try and bank it. Well, you always know that once a normal brain starts saying safety, maybe. Well, the Filipino imagination says, ooh, ooh, let's have a bit of pasty. If you're going to go down, you might as well go down swinging. In a blaze of glory. Dennis Arcolo, obviously, his intentions very clear now. He's going to fire from the hip against Reyes. Five balls away from an 8-6 scoreline. 
like an England cricketer, called Ronnie Arani. Jim, who plays a bit like this in certain circumstances. Why hit twos and ones when there's four ones and sixes to be had? This lad is going to shoot the moon. By trying to rattle through these racks, it's one at the break. He's looking good for eight six and owners. You're getting a glimpse of a future star from the Philippines, Dennis Orcolo. But why don't he get his lug smacked by the rest of the lads if he if he beats the maestro? Zap him around, and he's on the one again. He is, and the three's in the open. Again, a clear-cut opportunity for Orcolo. This 24-year-old star from Manila is in cruise control. He's cruising. Reyes could be bruising. Thinner cut on the five, I'm sure, than he would have liked. He's going to have to bring this back towards the seven. The only danger on a shot like this is the side pocket that he's going to be bridging over. Well, the big name's been falling. It's okay. And Eminem, like flies in the glue factory here. You know, Sid, he's having a look right now to see if the six is available past the seven into that corner, but I don't think it is. So he's gonna miss that side. That was careless. And overcutting the five ball didn't help him. Just watch. Uh, another angle on it. He knew it was in as soon as he hit it. Hands offered in the air. And that, folks, is the beginning of the end for Dennis Orcolo's run here in Cardiff. And here is the former champ looking to book his place in the next round. This nine, and there comes the towel for concession. Dennis Arcolo tosses it in. Efren Reyes through to the last 16 here in Cardiff, where he will face former world champion Oliver Ortman.